Hello, uh, welcome back to another video. And like it says in the title, we're starting to have some issues inside the pool house with um, mosquitoes. So what we're gonna do to try to combat the problem is, like say an example, like this tote right here, there's a lot of um, standing water that comes off the roof when it rains and stuff. So what we're gonna try to do is com to combat that, we're gonna go get some mollies. We're just gonna serve two purposes. One is to breed them so we can have food for the fish inside the pool aquarium. And also another thing is so there's no mosquitoes out here because they're going to get it, everything, you know. So <clears throat> like this 55 gallon, the same thing. We're going to put We're going to go uh, catch some uh, mollies right now. And uh, we already have some in here. That's why there's no mosquitoes out here. I could be in shorts and I'll be, I'll be fine. But before that, we're starting to have some issues. And uh so we're gonna do the same concept, but inside the pool aquarium, but with some Mexican tetras. They're like faster, they're like shiners, but they're real fast. So the cichlids that have a harder time trying to get them. Like uh, even stuff like this. These are tires. They were normally over there and inside they held a lot of water from the rain and the, it's just a breeding ground for the uh, mosquitoes. So we just, what we did, we just cover them and solved the problem. So now inside the pool aquarium, Inside here, we sit over here in the mornings or afternoons and we just feed the fish and then mosquitoes start get, attacking us. So that means there's nothing that's eating the mosquito larva inside the pool. So that's why we're gonna go catch the shiners because uh, like every time we try to put like mollies, uh, guppies or stuff inside there, sheephead minnows, they get picked up real quick. And that's, that's the issue right there. So we need uh, something that's gonna like swim real fast. They, they will get eaten uh, as well, but it'll take longer, maybe like a week, maybe two. And by that time, they'll pick up all the mosquito larvae in there, that way they won't grow. And then they attack us out here. So uh, that's what we're gonna do in this video. We're just gonna go canal hopping and uh, try to get uh, as many Mexican tetras as we can. All right, see you in the canal. All right guys, so. We just showed this little clip so that we can show how well, how cool these fish look like inside the pool. And well, after this clip, we're gonna show you all of the canals that we went to to catch these minnows, mud minnows, mollies, sheep's head minnows, different kinds of fish. And um, yeah, we'll go ahead and get to that. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Oh man, there's a massive school right there. We get it. That, that's a tunnel, and they're gonna jump from that tunnel to here. They got a 10 foot chain this time. Oh, look at that school! There you go. Dale, dale, Hector. Spread over. Se les fue la otra, pero dale, dale. Pick it up. Okay. Oh, we still caught a lot of that. Let's get up over here. Hey, go! Allá va la otra scoop, pero hurry, hurry! Okay. Ahorita agarramos la otra scoop también. Yeah, be careful. Just big Oh, they got a massive school. It's a bunch of algae. We're going to take that and we're going to put it in all the algae. We're going to put it in the tote. Because that's what the... Uh, Bali's eat. Yeah? They're back. They're back? Yeah. And we didn't even catch half of them. <laughs> I suck. Look at this. You drunk? I Look suck. at that. No, we sunk. Nothing but fish candies. This is what we're after right here. Hey, look at these. Got blue on them. Clary. That's not what the tech is. Oh wow. Oh, 
Kapitan. Let's do it. Oh, man. <laughs> Joe, hurry, hurry. Okay. You jumped to the same spot. Bert. We didn't catch the lap, but we caught the Dale. They caught some more. That's why we just go for like canal hopping. Like, look, man, there's a big school right there. I could just zoom in with the GoPro. Big school. Because you never know. Like, and then what we do, like, we, we uh, mark it on the, on the maps. And then we'll just come back again. Not that good, but still. So we're gonna take that because I think the all the mollies still feed on that. Or worst case, or or they could just lay their eggs on it. We'll see. We're about to get some shiners for the full aquarium. Also, we might get some. There's some extra for the uh, we're gonna do some bass fishing a lot of shiners they like to come out right here in the currents like spillways and stuff so this is what we're gonna see if there's any right there damn y'all got a lot hey guys look at all the shiners that we, we got we're about to do a feeding it's gonna be a feeding frenzy but we like these because these are harder to catch and uh, so there'll be more action in the pool. Instead of the mollies, they're real slow and stuff, so they pick them up like nothing. And these, like, look at that. They're harder to catch. Nice. And it, mm -hmm. Damn, that's what we came for right there, man. There's a bunch of middles, but there's also a bunch of algae. Oh, look at this. Look at that soft turtle. It just came up. You're not on dead Pleco. You're not on that soft shell. That uh, soft shell said that there was a big soft shell right there. He, he went into the algae. Look at these boys. The determination right there. Right here, right here. Ooh. Ooh. Deep in here. Ooh, y'all got him. Go, 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 go. Stretch out. Okay. Ooh. You got him? Go. Lift up, lift up, lift up. Yep, we got him. Mert. Okay. No. Yeah. Are you getting a loud GIE? Climb up here. Sorry, guys. Oh, we got all of them. All right. Somebody dumped a lot of tires. Do we just take it right now? I think we can. Dale. Look at these boys. 
Y'all don't understand this. This is steep, steep. Chucky, come on, come on. Nice. Oh, look at the size of these mollies. That's a lot. All of the algae. No idea. I'm gonna take some of it. Some of the algae? Yeah. Oh, it's tough. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna just throw on the fire, let him separate. Okay. <laughs> Dirt is inside. So let's start putting it open. Start putting them in? Okay. Alright. Look at all these. Yes, so, okay, tal de ese. Yeah. Alright, guys, it is finally time to feed the shiners to these fish. What we got in here? We got uh, mollies. Mollies. Sheephead minnows. Mud minnows. The shiners. And, uh, and we got some killifish. Big mud minnow, big shiners. Time to put it in. Alright. We're gonna give y'all the underwater footage. Now this is gonna be so sick. Alright. The mollies, the sheep heads, the killifish, and the mud minnows that we put in there, they're all going to get picked up really fast. But the shiners, as you can see right there, that they're going faster than all the other ones, it's going to be harder for the other fish to catch them. So they're going to last longer. But what we wanted the shiners for was because we have mosquito larvas in the pool, and every time we go inside the pool house, the mosquitoes bite us. And right there you can see that the fish are trying to eat them, but the shiners are too fast for them to catch them. Leave a comment of what else we can use besides the shiners. The schools of all the fish look so cool, but too bad they won't last too long. The shiners will usually last like about two or three weeks, and then the mollies so the most, the probably last is about two days. The shiners will eventually get eaten. They'll last maybe like a week. But the good thing is that they'll eat at least all the mosquito larvae that's inside the pool. And that is exactly what we want.
caught 35 Jaguars from Miami, Florida, and we wanted to get rid of some because how these minnows school up, they look nice, like they look real cool. But these Jaguars, they don't really give them a chance. So we wanted to get rid of some of them so, so, so they can last longer. Right where we put the oval, you can see a few examples of how easily the mollies are being picked off by the jaguars and the other fish. The jaguar cichlid is an ambush predator and they're just waiting for the right one to pass by. Enjoy the rest of the video.